Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really sick text-based portrait inside Photoshop. It's super quick, super simple. Let's get into it. All right, so quick and simple. First, we're going to need a portrait image. So I'm just heading over to Unsplash, type in portrait and select one that I like. I got this one from Avery Klein that I think is awesome. The main thing is you want a portrait that hopefully has a dark or seamless background. The more busy the background, the less this technique is going to work, but you can experiment and see what works for you. So once I've got that photo downloaded, I'm going into my fresh new Photoshop file that I've created here. And I'm just going to find that download and drag it on in. So I'm dragging that into here. Resize to fill my screen. So to do that, I hit Command T or Control T if you're on a PC. And I'm just going to make her head larger here because I want my text to be nice and big on the poster. So just resize however it works best for you. And then I'm going to make a new text layer by hitting my text tool and just clicking anywhere on this image and just type some random letters for a second, okay? Now I'm going to go over here to my text tool, but you can also set these settings from up here. I'm using Montserrat, and I'm going to set it to Montserrat Black. That is basically the chunkiest I can make this font. And so you'll see when I resize it here by pressing it Command T again, that these letters are nice and close together and they're nice and chunky. So I can even bring my letter spacing down to say minus 30 and my line height to, oh, I don't know, let's say 2400 instead of 2500. And then I'm just going to type in my text. So it's as simple as grabbing your text, whatever that is. And I've already pre-made some just to save us some time. So we'll grab this and I will paste it into here. And then resize it to fit appropriately on her head. So just resize it to fit on your portrait. So I'm going to line it up like this. And the color of the text doesn't matter much. We're just getting it roughly into place. And then I'll show you how to actually insert it into the image. Great. Now next we need to make sure that our text is aligned center on the page. So I go to View. And then new guide. We're going to create a little ruler just to kind of gauge things with. I entered 50%. OK. And now I can see that my text is pretty much bang on the money in the center. Go me. And now I'm going to create a rectangle. To do this, you can hit U or hit the rectangle tool in the bottom panel. And then we're going to adjust the color of this rectangle by clicking this little swatch here and selecting one of these colors from our background. Perfect. So I've done that. Now I'm just going to click and drag and make a rectangle that covers half of this image. Good. All right, now I'm going to drag this rectangle underneath my text layer and then make a duplicate of my portrait. To do this, I just right click the portrait and hit duplicate layer. Great, hit okay. Drag that duplicate above your text layer, okay? Now all you have to do is just make sure you select this layer by clicking on it, then right click and go create clipping mask. Bam, just like that you can see that the image has been inserted into your text and we can move our text around here now to kind of position it wherever we like. Let's say that I am happy here. I'm just going to slightly edit it so that the line spacing is just a little bit higher. Let's go with say 88. Great, maybe a little less, 82. And you can just tweak that until you like it. And one thing, if you're finding some of the letters aren't very visible, like believe for instance, the B here, I can just double click on this text layer and go color overlay. Select a dark enough color that it's sort of showing up on this B, the problem letter. I'm going to hit OK. Change the blend mode to darken. And that way, that is only going to affect this particular letter that is lighter than the color we selected, not the rest of these letters here. And I can just kind of dial in the opacity to where I like. And you can also play around with different colors and just see if you can find one that blends better with your overall image. So let's say something a little bit more brown until you find something you're happy with. And once you have done that, you are finished. It's really that simple, guys. So now if you want to resize this poster image inside of your canvas, you can just grab all those layers by selecting them all. I hold it shift and then clicked all my layers. Then I click this little folder icon, make them into a group, and you can hit Command T or Control T on a PC and just drag the corner of this group and hold shift while you drag it and you can resize to whatever size you want your poster to be or that image to be on the page. Great, that's looking good. Now one last thing you'll see is that this rectangle I originally created isn't covering the entire canvas. So I can open up my group, select the rectangle, hit Command T, and either resize it like this so that it just covers everything and leave it like that. Or I can go one step forward and just right click this rectangle there, click Rasterize, select my eraser tool by clicking E or selecting the eraser here on the toolbar. 
and I'm just going to erase, making sure that my brush is nice and large, my hardness is set to zero, and putting my flow down nice and low. And I can just erase and blend in with the rest of the background. So I would take my time and make sure that this was a lot more neat than what I'm going to do here for the purpose of this tutorial video, but you kind of see my point. So there's your two options there. You can either blend it with the rest of the image or you can go ahead and just leave it with the blocked effect. So that's really all there is to it, guys. Super simple, super quick. If I wasn't explaining it, it would take me under a minute to do this whole thing. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, leave me a comment in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.